What's up everybody? Dave H. Dark Side Kennels. So I figured I'd show you the puppies I have left up close that are in, they're in the drop cages. So I figured I'd let you check them out real quick. Give you a little bit, whoops, sorry, wrong light. So check them out. Got this sable female with a black mask. Alright. And you got, this is the male, the third pick male, fawn and white. I think he's cryptic merle. I'm not sure yet, but pretty sure. Um, and down there we got the sable male. This is the best temperament out of the bunch. If you want the calm, cool, collected dog, that's the one. And then we got the little red fawn merle female here. And then there's the pocket I had for sale. There's the pocket I'm keeping. Look at the size of him already. Look, look how big he is. What's up, Mac? I got their blankets drying. I got blankets for them to lay on inside the cages here, but I gotta, they keep pooping on them and everything, so I gotta wait for them all to dry. I fold them in half and then I put them on there so I got something to lay on. Yep, they're just in here during the night and then they go out during the day, so. That's that, and then we'll see what Mama's doing. Oh, Mama wants to go outside. You want to go outside? Come on, girl. All right. Well, hold on a second, guys. I'll show you the puppies in a minute. She wants to. She wants to go outside. Come on. I'm trying to get her to go out all day. Come on, Jazz. 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 Come on, girl. Jasmine. 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 Let's go. Come on, girl. Come on. And she's happy to get outside now. She's like, come on. She's like, see you later. Thank you. All right, so while she's outside, Sorry I'm moving the camera around and shit, but I'm trying to keep track of everybody. So I'll turn the light on in here. And she finally ate a little bit of her food. She keeps wrinkling up the damn mat though. I gotta keep fixing the mat. Little chunks. I'm trying to straighten this out. There we go. This thing fucking sucks. I hate you. I'm on. Uh, what you know, I'm gonna be selling some dogs. I got puppies, I got some adults I'm getting rid of. I gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. I got some other things coming up that, you know, family oriented stuff that has to be taken care of. And uh, one, I could use the money to help take care of that. Two, it's going to um, lighten the load on me. I'm going to be working a lot more, starting to get busy again, so. <clears throat> but they're doing pretty good. So, back in. I want her getting all dirty. I'll wipe her, wipe her teats off and all that good shit. So, it's about what's going on. Not a lot today. But if you're interested in any of these puppies, hit me up 803 504 9447. Because.
I'm trying to get get things thinned out here. Um, I'm gonna be breeding blue, so I'm gonna have another litter in a couple, you know, a couple months. So I don't want all these dogs around here. I mean, I could I could keep them if I have to. I could hold, you know, I could take care of it. But it just, you know, I'm just trying to be smart about it. You know, you know, I don't want to be a dog hoarder. I just keep the best I need for the show, and that's it. I don't want the rest of them. You know, the rest of them are for pets, for people, for other people that want to breed. Stuff like that, so. Alright, go lay down, girl. Close that door. Ah, I'm going to sit down for a minute. So you saw the puppies, They're, they look pretty good. Um, I'm not selling those, I'm keeping both of them. You know what, I was so tired, this, this is how dumb I am sometimes. I was so tired and stressed out over this whole thing and not getting no sleep, you know, the last few days, that when I was looking at them, because the doc didn't show me all the puppies up front, right? I didn't check the sexes, right? I knew one was a male, one was a female. So I, I assume, you know, the dark one was the male. No. The champagne color one is the male, and then the, the female dark blue one is the female. But my dumbass, I didn't know. That's what happens when you're tired all the time and you got stressed out. You know, you start doing stupid shit, not thinking right. So, yep. No excuses. Just, I was just... Didn't pay attention. But, um, I got the guy that was, had a deposit on a female for this litter. It's probably going to come and take the pocket. The champagne pocket. He's already got a $1,000 deposit, so I'm holding the champagne pocket until he, you know, until, uh, I think, because he's on vacation, so... And tell me he might come through here on Thursday. I wish I know it's Thanksgiving, but I don't give a shit. Um, we're all we're gonna do is eat. What else are we gonna do? Um, so you can come by and pick him up and just pay me the difference or something. So I'll do it that way if he wants them. I don't know. He's just coming to look at all the dogs. He's gonna figure out what he wants to do. He even wants one of these puppies here. I don't know what he wants to do, but we'll find out. And, uh, and then after that, uh, everybody, I didn't have any other deposits or anything. I got some people who stole me some money. I know it's Christmas time and all this, but you've had enough time to pay me. You know who you are. So wrap it up, man. Or the papers are going to get gone. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't care how much money you give me. You haven't paid me all in full. So, and you should, you know, it's getting... It's getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous. You know, it doesn't take a fucking year to pay off a dog. You know what I mean? If it, if it takes you that long to pay off the dog, you should have bought the dog in the first place. So, that that's how I feel about that. Yeah? It's like when I pay for the stub fee for these puppies here. You think he's going to wait a year for me to pay him? He only got this shit. You know, you think the vet wants to hear I ain't got the money for the four thousand dollars? I had to pay for that shit up front. Four thousand dollars. So I'm running low on money, so I need my money. You know, I'm getting tired of this shit. So you know who you are. If you owe me money, pay up. But uh of course always always fucking Six o'clock at night, everybody wants to talk on a business phone. Six o'clock at night, it took rang all fucking day. Now it's six o'clock, everybody wants to talk to me. Guess what? Shop's closed. But um, anyway, I'm gonna get off of here. So I'm just ranting on. I'm tired. But basically, if you're interested in any of the pups, any of the XLs, let me know. If you're interested in Kobe, let me know. Cause Kobe, I got too many males here, man. They're fighting like crazy. I mean, I got, you know, 
I mean, Chris, I went out there and Vader was fighting with Kobe through the fence. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So, I mean, I know I got a bitch in heat, but still. I don't, I don't need five, six males around. So, I'm going to get rid of some of them. Kobe's going to be the first one. Troy's not going to go anywhere for now. He, he's he's going to stay here. So I have him and I have this puppy. Vader, stop it. And I have this puppy upcoming stud for, you know, a year and a half from now. Um, hopefully. And I got plenty of pocket studs. So I don't need more male dogs. If it ain't a female, it won't be staying here. And I have another female pocket coming. So I'm going to I'm going to breed. You notice when you do a video to fucking dogs that clang your goddamn fucking bowls and all this shit? Everybody makes fucking, it's like girly like kids. They, you know, you're on the phone and you find them fucking daddy, 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 daddy. It's driving you fucking crazy. But anyway, I'm getting off of here. And uh, y'all have a good night. Peace.